good morning or whatever. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2021, guys. And good morning. Welcome to the five minute morning show. We take about five minutes each and every day to thaw out before we start our day. So. It is also Black History Month. So we're gonna keep the theme of sports for this week. We're just gonna highlight some great sports players. Um, so today, we're gonna talk about NBA and basketball. We're gonna give a salute out to uh, Mr. Willis Reed. Mr. Reed in 1970 was the first African-American basketball player to win the NBA All-Star MVP, the NBA Finals MVP, and the NBA MVP all in the same season. So he played for the New York Knicks at that time. So salute, shout out to you. That is a, a threefer, <laughs> a trinity, you know, better than do. Um, so big salute out, shout out and salutes to you and the Knicks organization. They've been around for many, many years. Um, I enjoy sports. I, I don't watch like every NBA basketball game, but I definitely enjoy, uh, sports. I'm definitely more of a football girl, but being from Houston, the Rockets, will always be my team um so big sh shout out to them i mean i know we having a tough uh season right now with uh figuring out a lot of things i feel like all the houston teams in general is just trying to figure it out at this point um however you know we're gonna make it through just like we're gonna make it through this week. So today is Tuesday, guys, which means pat yourself on the back for getting through Monday. Um, so we made it. Now we're gonna tackle on Tuesday full throttle with everything that we got. And I'm excited for that. I'm also excited for the excited for this week. We have a lot of new um, winter, premieres happening in TV land. Um, one TV show that I'm excited that's coming back is Temptation Island. Um, it's definitely just for pure entertainment type stuff. I mean, it's a relationship type show. Basically, you have these couples that go onto the show and you decide to separate like the girlfriends go on one side of the island and the boyfriends go on the other side of the island and then they have other singles that come onto the show to try to tempt them out of their relationship and you see what couples will make it and what couples won't make it and of course they do some heavy editing to um, allow you to see what your significant other is doing on the other side of the island um and then you make your decisions about what you want to do what you don't want to do at the end of the one month period um so it's definitely pure entertainment it um definitely allows me to see what mistakes and what things you tend to take for granted in a relationship like you may think that the the grass is greener on the other side but then when you actually experience it, you realize that it's not. So it's just, it allow, when I watch it, yes, it's entertaining, but you do have some serious moments where you're like, okay, I can, they they probably shouldn't have came on this show. Like they should have stayed at home and worked it out and figured it out. So it's kind of cool to see who stays together and who doesn't at the end of the one month. But anyways, guys, that's my rumble and rant for um, Temptation Island. And when it starts to come on, we can definitely talk more about it. Um, but that's all I have for today, guys. It's been great spending time with you guys and allow y'all to get to know me a little better. 
Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow where you can see this beautiful, wonderful girl each and every morning. So you guys have a great Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you know when I'm on every single morning. Bye-bye.